Britney, Whitney, Oprah too. You know what I think of you. And ladies, it's a fact that without you, I've got no act. Ryan Seacrest, Dr. Phil, you may think I'm crass and shrill, but kids, it's just a show. Shit, don't you assholes know? When I call you a bitch, it's cause I love you. I only speak the truth because I care. Each insult is like sunshine from above. It means Paul is cute and spunky when I say that dwarf's a junkie. Yes, when I call you a bitch, it's filled with love. When I scream, Kirstie Alley's back at IHOP. <clears throat> it's just so Jenny Craig can rent a crane. Don't call me a pariah just because I love Mariah and prove it every time I shout that bitch is still insane. Scott, hold on one second. I have to just talk to these people. All right, what's going on with Mariah Carey? I mean, seriously. Right? We leave her alone for one damn second and she marries this 15-year-old. What is she, the nanny, the au pair? She's his mom, his wife. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> So when I yell, Barbara Walters is 100, it's just that I'm so proud she still can't walk. And with all that facial tightening, some say Kathy Lee is frightening, but I applaud the fact she's pulled so tight but still can't talk. Yes, celebrities, deep down, I just adore you. Just heed my sweet critiques and you'll stand tall. Yes, that loving stench you're whipping comes from deep in Kathy Griffin. You're a bitch, but I'm the mother of them all. Bonsoir! Scott Price, ladies and gentlemen. The inimitable Scott Price, give it up. Merci, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Et quoi? I, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm, I'm, and you know, the fromage stands alone. I know. So trying to assassinate me right now. I, I hate Cirque du Soleil. There, I said it. I, yeah, that's right. Go ahead, turn on me, all of Canada. I don't care. No, I'm sorry. I do not want to pay $250, and you know, the dollar's very weak. I do not want to pay $250 to see a freaking French Canadian clown slowly roll a beach ball across the stage for 20 minutes while saying, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est? What does that mean? Ay, ay, ay. I'm really trying to relate to you. By the way, I will say that I have noticed that the homeless people in Montreal are like no place else I've seen. They're homeless and they all have cigarettes and iPods. <laughs> cigarettes are expensive. I, um, I do have a confession, and I know you guys are probably very sophisticated comedically, so you're probably gonna make fun of me, but I'm just gonna say it. I love Celine Dion. <laughs> Go ahead, turn on me. I know, I know, I'm not edgy. I'm not edgy, I don't care. J'aime Celine Dion. I love her because I love her voice. I went to see her show in Vegas, which was like Cirque du Celine, you know about this? <laughs> Wasn't it weird? It was like a cross section of Celine Dion and Cirque du Soleil for no reason. So she'd be like singing Titanic and then a giant inflatable piano would just float above her head. <laughs> so I've seen the Celine show a million times and she's always got like the gore, you know, she's six feet tall and she's beautiful, but I love this moment where she's being like of the people and she goes like this and sorry lighting guys, we didn't rehearse, but when she goes like this, is it okay if I come and sit and talk to you for a moment? Really? 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 Is it okay? Really? Like she's shocked that we're clapping, right? Okay, okay. And then she comes and she sits on the stage like this. She goes like this. I'll never forget this line. I saw the show four times. <laughs> this next song is for all the parents in the audience and also the children. That's not everybody, you dumb bitch. All right, look.